Recently, I made a video about phrasal verbs for phone calls. Well, some students were confused about one verb. As always, I'm here to help. I'm John, and today we're going to study phrasal verb secrets. To call in sick. Mike and Sandra are at work. They're talking about the day. Did you hear that Jenna won't be coming into work today? No, what happened? She called in sick this morning. She said she feels terrible. Oh, that's too bad. I hope she gets better soon. Yeah, me too. It's important to stay home when you're sick. It doesn't make sense to come into work. Absolutely. I don't want to catch what she has. Quiz time. What does to call in mean? To become sick? To physically enter a place? to enter a place by phone, to call a doctor. Please pause the video and answer the question. That's right, it's C, to enter a place by phone. Go in means to enter a place physically. Come in means the same. Call in means to enter a place with a phone call. Phrasal verb secrets. Call in sick is a common phrase used when an employee needs to inform their workplace that they can't go in to work because they're sick. In, in this context, refers to inside an organization or group, like a job, office, or meeting. We don't use it with call very often, but in the context of calling in sick, it's very common. It's not necessary to use this verb. In my videos, I try to make Native American English understandable and accessible. We can just use call instead of call in, but almost all Americans will use this verb as an expression for this specific situation. Examples. I need to call in to the office and check my schedule for next week. I can't come into work today, so I'll call into the meeting when it starts. Many companies have a policy on how to properly call in sick. After calling in sick, he went to the doctor for a checkup. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, consider joining the channel and becoming an English fan or English explorer. Remember, quiz questions are in the community section. Please like, share, and subscribe, and see you in the next lesson.